I was in Afghanistan with U.S. troops in 2010. You know, some of those guys uh, would, you know, they would sacrifice for you. And your question is, what do you owe them? But ultimately, you owe, you owe them the truth. That's journalist James Foley who was beheaded last month by the Islamic State. Speaking in 2012 with the legendary cinematographer, journalist, filmmaker Haskell Wexler in Chicago at the anti-NATO protests. For more, we go directly to Haskell Wexler, who's in Los Angeles right now. Talk about why you are bringing this out now. Amy, uh, I'm pissed off. I am angry. I am... I, I, I see how the American public is being uh, confused, lied to, and given theater to, um, to make us buy uh, that uh, war is the way to have peace. The Pentagon is warning that ISIS may be plotting attacks on the U.S. homeland. The U.S. is preparing for all options as speculation rises that the U.S. is planning to strike. Our government is not telling the truth. Earlier today, I spoke to the Foley's and told them that we are all heartbroken at their loss and joined them in honoring Jim and all that he did. Long before their son James showed up in the ISIS hostage video last month, his parents had been trying to work behind the scenes to gain his release. But they say a White House national security official and a State Department official both threatened them with prosecution if they tried to raise ransom money. We were told very clearly three times that um, it was illegal for us to try to ransom our son out and that we had possibility of being prosecuted. The United States of America will continue to do what we must do to protect our people. We will be vigilant and we will be relentless. When people harm Americans anywhere, we do what's necessary to see that justice is done and we act against ISIL, standing alongside others. To use a, a journalist like, um, like Jim Foley, he was not a, a person uh, detached uh, when James Foley took a camera uh, to work with me and my fellow Chicago filmmakers uh, in an anti-NATO film. There's no question on what side of the fence he's on. And uh, I, I'm really interested in, in the young guys, the ones that are just coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan. Those guys' perspectives. I mean, they have the most authentic, they have the most authentic voice to criticize, yeah. you know, NATO right now. They're, they were, they're inside the beast, so. Yeah. Of course, I was too, but I was just a journalist. You know, I was a journalist. You know, and uh, it, yeah, it is sad because it's just some of the strongest bonds amongst young men, giving your life for your brother. Yeah. But but to what end are we? Yeah. You know, to what end is the greater purpose? And that's, I guess, that's the root question of NATO, right? Yeah. To what end are we fighting these, these wars? Yeah. So for them to use him as a poster boy for more violence is obscene. And I think that the country has to know it's obscene. What do you owe them? But ultimately, you owe, you owe them the truth.